Central American countries will be heading back to the polls in the coming months for presidential runoff elections. Sunday, voters cast ballots in El Salvador and also in Costa Rica. We have live team coverage with Arnitza Soledad Perez standing by in San Jose, Costa Rica. But we'll begin with Frank Contreras in San Salvador, where a former Marxist guerrilla leader fell just short of an outright win. Frank. That's right, Mike. Thanks. Salvador Sanchez Seren came up with a strong victory, 10 percentage point win in the first round over the Nationalist Republican Alliance Party candidate, the Arena Party candidate, Norman Quijano. But Sanchez came far short, or a little short, I should say, uh, of winning this vote in the first round. He needed 50 percent of the vote and didn't quite get that. So that means Salvadoran voters will be going back to the polls for a final round of voting, Mike, on March 9th. The look of confidence. After capturing nearly 49 percent of the vote, many political observers believe Salvador Sanchez Seren will likely become the next president of El Salvador. We're happy because you gave us this triumph in the first round, and we are certain that in the second round it won't be a 10-point margin. It will be more than 10 points. Onward to victory. He'll face off against his political rival from the right of center Nationalist Republican Alliance or Arena Party, Norman Quijano, who garnered nearly 39 percent of the vote. The immense majority of Salvadorans who did not turn out to vote, I call on them and ask for their own future, for their families, for their country. Come out to vote on March 9th. Indeed, low voter turnout was the hallmark of this election. El Salvador's Supreme Electoral Tribunal says 54 percent of all eligible voters turned out for the first round of this presidential election, one of the lowest levels of participation in the post-Civil War era. Political observers expect the numbers for the second round will be equally low. Political analyst Alvaro Artiga Gonzalez says the Farabundo Marti National Liberation Front, or FMLN, goes into the second round of voting with a clear advantage. The Arena candidate needs practically all the votes that the third place finisher captured if he wants to win in the second round, and that is highly improbable. Observers say embezzlement allegations against Francisco Flores, a former Salvadoran president from the Arena Party and advisor to Quijano's campaign, may have hurt the conservative candidate's chances. It's unclear who the third place candidate will support when the second and final round of El Salvador's presidential election takes place on March 9th. Many remember that during the campaign, Quijano slammed Antonio Saca, so few expect his followers to hand their votes over to Quijano. So it's all set, Michael. Runoff election will take place in this Central American nation. Analysts that uh, we've spoken to here at CCTV tell us in El Salvador the voters are, are quite tired after the first round of um, voting that took place here. They're tired of the campaign and all the slogans and things, the television ads. And so they're, they're also expressing discontent with the kinds of messages that the candidates have been using directed at the electorate, Mike. I suspect that's uh, going to drive that uh, number, as you said, low. Um, and El Salvador, El Salvador's uh, weak economy, obviously, on their minds as they went to vote. Frank, what are the two candidates uh, still left in this race promising to do on that issue? Well, these two rival candidates from the FMLN and the Arena Party on the other right side of the political spectrum, they're both in agreement, Mike, that more jobs need to be created in this Central American nation. They know that something needs to be done to start up this sputtering economy that's driven so much by consumers, but basically consumer spending. But uh, essentially, at this stage, no one has given any concrete plans on how they expect to do that, Mike. Frank Contreras, live force in San Salvador. Thanks so much. Dakota.